Hello everyone, we will continue the topic data browser and in this video we will explore more features related to the data browser and we all know very well that transaction code for data browser is SC16 or SC16M. Suppose I will go to SC16. From SC11 also, you can navigate to SC16. Suppose I will pass the name of my order header table and I am pressing enter. This is input screen or selection screen for our order header table as a part of data browser. Suppose I want to check the records where the payment mode is equal to D. D means debit card. Now the question comes, till the last video, payment mode column was available here as a part of selection screen or input screen. Now it is not available. Then if it is not available, how I can check the number of entries where payment mode is equal to D? It is there itself. I just make it hidden. It is there itself. Suppose as of now, you are able to see how many columns as a part of selection screen or input screen, four columns. So how I can go for payment mode also? Go to settings. Fields for selection. Have you seen all the columns of the table is appearing here? Table has five columns as of now. And payment mode is not ticked. That's why it is not appearing here. Once I will check payment mode, I will go for OK. Now you can see payment mode is appearing as a part of selection screen or input screen. I can put payment mode D. And I can simply, simply check how many number of entries are there. So it's just a game of settings. Everything is here, especially for the freshers at the initial level. We face so many difficulties. Yes, because they are saying, okay, column name is not available. How I can check the number of records. So it is there itself. We just need to choose the settings. As of now, our order header table has only five columns. So it is very easy to manage. Just think about SAP standard tables or in the real projects, whenever we are creating tables, table has 100 column, 150 column. So at that time, we should know all those things at that point of time. Suppose simple example. Rather than this, suppose I will go for one standard table of SAP. Suppose I will go to SC60 transaction code. Suppose I'm going for VBAK table. VBAK, yes, it is a SAP table because name starts with V. The name starts with other than Z or Y. The name is not starting with Z or Y. It is a standard table for sales document header. I'm pressing enter. Suppose you got a requirement. Just tell us how many number of records are there where document category is equal to C. Now document category is not available as a part of selection screen or input screen for VBAK table as a part of data browser. So how you can add that particular column here? Firstly, go to that table. Suppose firstly, I will show you that table in SC11 transaction code. This is VBAK table. Just see, table has 237 columns. And just see, this is real project. We, our order header table has five columns. We are able to manage everything. But this table has 237 columns. And if we display 237 columns here, yes, yes, it is very difficult for us to manage. So as of now, we are able to see six columns. So whatever is required, I can add here. So just see now. What is the column name for SG document category? VB type. So you can simply, simply go to settings. 
you can go to fields for selection and you can see as of now we are able to see six column here so check box is ticked for six only once you scroll down you will be able to find other two also now what we want to add we want to add sd document category so just add and go for ok and what is the sd document category suppose i want to go for c and i will simply go for number of entries and you can see number of entries are how much 233 now i will simply simply go to execute button now number of entries are 233 but have you seen i am only able to see 200 records it is by default value here that's why we are able to see 200 records in the output list yes so many times this question is coming from the freshers yes I'm only able to see first 200 records. Yes, it is there. You just need to just change the number of hits. Suppose I'm just removing it. So once I will remove and I will go to execute, it will show me all the 233 records. So just by default, it is showing 200. That's why in the output, we are able to see 200 things. So if the number of records are more than 200, just by default value is 200. You can change and you can check all the records. Simple. As of now, our order header table has very less data. So it's very easy to manage. In real projects, we have billion trillions of data in that table. So at that time, these features will help us to play with that data effectively. Now, now I will simply, simply go to execute button. Now you can see this is our output. This is our output. And have you seen in the output, you are getting the data of so many columns, so many columns. So if someone asks you, just check the data of the columns. So we will not be even able to concentrate because is it is very, very difficult to check the data of these, these many columns. Table has 237 columns. Yes, it might be the case. We only want to check the data of 10 columns. It might be the case only five column data is relevant to us. So in that case, it is our wish. It is our settings. We can only, only display that data of those five to 10 columns. And this is real projects example. Yes, sir. suppose you are developing a program and the program is displaying the data of only five columns. It means whenever you will verify. So you are only, only interested in seeing that data of those five columns only. You will not go to other columns at all. So how I can go or how I can display the selected column data in the output list. This is our output. If you want to add the columns in the input screen or selection screen, you simply add it through settings and fields for selection. Suppose you only want to see that data of selected column on the output screen. Again, simple. Go to settings. This time we need to go to formal list. I will go to choose fields. And you can see as of now, every column is ticked. That's why we are able to see that data of 237 column. Now you can simply, simply choose those columns which are required. Suppose in that case, what you can do, you can simply, simply deselect all. So everything is deselected. Suppose I require VBELN, ERDAT, ERZDT, and ERNAP. I will go for apply. So once I will execute, you can see only four column data is coming. So this is the way how we can reduce our efforts, 
how we can reduce our time in checking the data of the table. Suppose, same thing if I will show you by order header table. What is our order header table? If I will go to SC16, this is our order header table. Now, as of now, suppose all four column data, all six columns data, including MA and DT is coming in the output. Suppose I always, always want to check that data of two columns. So how you can do? Simply go to settings. You can go to formal list. Choose fields. As of now, every column is ticked. So you can simply, simply deselect. Suppose you want to go for order number and payment mode. Select these two columns, apply, and once you execute, you are only able to see the data of these two columns. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied that how you can add or delete, how you can add or delete columns from the input screen or selection screen. Deletion does not mean that you are permanently deleting. You are just hiding. You are just hiding. So see, table has so many columns. How we can go for each and everything? So whatever is required, you can add or hide those columns as a part of selection screen or input screen. You can simply go to settings, fields for selection. Now, by default settings is of 200 records. If you want to go for, suppose for a particular input, if you have more entries and you want to check those entries, so just increase the number of fits so that you can see all the records at that point of time. Third thing, same thing is applicable to output screen also. If a table has so many columns, how we can check the data of each and every column on the output screen? And in the real project table might have so many columns, but we are only want to, we only want to check that data of few columns. So how you can go for those columns on the output screen? Simply go to settings, formal list and choose fields. So whatever that data you want to check on the output screen, you can choose only those columns. So that's it in this particular video. In the next video, we will explore few more features as a part of data browser. So that's it in this video. Thank you.